Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome to the, um, I don't know, this is like the, the, the goblin color palette, the witch color palette. This is very Halloween-y. This is very Halloween vibes. It's pretty good, actually. I just tweaked. It's the same. It's still Neon Slasher. We've been on Neon Slasher for like two or three episodes. I've just been tweaking the RGB values of the, uh, whatchamacallit. The, uh, it's Reshade, right? That's what it is. I don't remember what it's called, but the thingamabob. I've just been uh, messing with the values of it. So I think we're going to play... I mean, I guess we could play Mizuki. I wasn't really planning on playing Mizuki today, but we can play Mizuki today. I think that's fine. Now, let's get ourselves a Gazoo, I think. Medical History Gazoo. We do a little discharge summary. Also, so there was going to be... <laughs> there was going to be a Dark Souls video today. But uh, Plunger... The, the videos are, like, pretty hefty on the, the gigabyte size, and Plunger's upload speed. Not to shame him, his upload speed's not the best, so he leaves the, the, the video uploading to the, the file share overnight. And the thing is, his cat stood on the power brick and shut off his computer in the middle of the upload. So it was supposed to be uploaded earlier this morning... To the to the file share it'll be uploaded in the middle of the night tonight or tomorrow depending on when he started it again i'm not entirely sure so you know plunger's cat ate his homework uh it the blit uh i don't know i think i might just like double it and give it to the next person and by that i i don't mean doubling it at all i think i'll just like upload that video like, next week. So, he's kind of got, like, a buffer of, like, a week, if that makes sense. That sounds like a good idea. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. Now, what are we doing here? I don't know. I probably should have kept the schoolyard because we're playing Mizuki. You know, just a random thing to think about. But, uh, alternatively, we could not, and we could ball. You ever think about that? You ever think about balling? Metamorphosis, huh? Ground footage vigil hell? Sounds about right. So, I just found out about something so funny this is a league of legends anecdote i apologize but i found out about it right before i started recording so here's the deal right there is you know i'm a skarner andy i was very scared of the skarner rework the skarner rework is pretty like i think the skarner rework is fine but it's like a completely different champion and i don't really like him paranoia me and paranoia rutsu like, I, I, I'm mixed on the Skarner rework, because I think he's a fun character to play. I just think he's a completely different character. And I wish I could still play the old Skarner, because I enjoyed the old Skarner. And I enjoy the new Skarner for different reasons. That all being said... Oh, jeez. Uh... I don't know if I'm, uh... 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 Dear God, it's so Jover. It's over. I, I I was looking for a usable weapon and it took 80 million years. Anyway. The new Skarner has a really, really funny bug. Where, essentially, he has a circular AoE that he shoots off and it does like a dot slow and gives him a shield, right? But somehow... I don't know how. Like, it's truly impressive. Riot Games is incapable of making a circle, like, be programmed properly. And I, I think it's like, I, I, I actually think it's mind-blowing 
like for real i I, i'm genuinely impressed honestly like i can't I, i like okay listen i am not a programmer i do not know anything about programming so i am talking out of my ass and being rude but have you considered that i'm being rude to riot games and that that's okay (laughs) <laughs> it's not it's it's not okay to be rude to individuals you could be rude to a conglomerate company though that's very very popular very successful and has 200 years champion design blah 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 so somehow i i think it's be, people are saying it's because skarner's ability is treated as a radial missile even though it's a circle and so, depending on where your cursor is, your W, which is a circular AoE, by the way, a circular AoE, it can miss, even if somebody's in its range. So, first of all, it doesn't, the circle doesn't start underneath you in the way that you think it would. So, if somebody is like directly on top of you, your W misses. If somebody is like let's say somebody is at the maximum range of your of your W, right? To where that like they'll get hit by it. Like let, let's say they get hit by it, right? Like they they're in range of your W. But they're on like the outer part of it, okay? I'm not a big fan of this, by the way. I'm thinking you do something like this. And then you're gonna cast Multiply Wound because that's a uh, a net gain of HP, and then you're gonna move on with your life. So that's our first enemy, right? Dream Eater. So we gotta watch out for the second one. I think we just ignore the tent. That's fine. It's a little sketchy, but we should be okay. So you, it doesn't hit anybody who's directly on top of you because the circle starts outside of you. Or, like, the circle starts, I guess, like, around you or something? I don't know why it doesn't hit you. But depending on where your mouse cursor is, your W actually has less range. So what ends up happening... (laughs) What ends up happening... I don't see anything, uh... I don't see any text here, so we can probably just attack again. Although, we are, like, doomed, I guess? Okay, so we block this, and then we kick to dodge the burn. We are kind of getting our ass beat here. A little bit unfortunate. We've missed a lot of 75%, so we're bound to hit them at some point. So, I I, I just, I can't even believe, like... I, I, I can't even, like, think about it without just laughing, because it's, or getting, like just utterly baffled because i don't know how you make us like it's like it gets cut off right like imagine a circle and then you just like cut off a side of the circle it's so crazy it's like depending on how your where your mouse cursor is your w has less range it's so weird i have no idea how they could do something like that Like, you you feel like somebody would notice it, right? Because it's like, it's such a... Like, you always want to have your mouse cursor where your enemy is. Because that just, like, is sensible, you know? But it it genuinely, it it genuinely feels like... How do I put it? It genuinely feels weird. And here's the thing. There have been some times where I was chasing somebody as Skarner... And I was thinking to myself, my W should have hit them. My W should have hit them. But maybe they just, like, walked. Because it's like an expanding radius, you know? Like, it starts around you and then it goes out to the edge. And so I was thinking to myself, eh, you know, that probably should have hit. But I guess they just moved faster. Or maybe they, like, used a movement ability in the Fog of War or something. But, like, there are a lot of times where I'm like, my W should have hit. And it didn't. And I thought, like, I I was just gaslighting myself because I thought I was crazy. You know, it's like, ah, you know, I'm new to the champion, you know, that sort of thing. But, like, 
whatchamacallit. I, I, I just assumed, like, oh yeah, I'm new to the champion. I think we go Household Hell instead of School, instead of Violent Vigil, because I think we die. I think we die to not having allies, which is, uh, you know, whoops, whoopsie daisy. Oops. Probably should have given myself an opportunity to, oh yeah. I, I don't know why I clicked that button. I was like, oh, we need sanity. It's, it's plus two sanity. We'll just get plus one. That's fine. We did not get plus one sanity because it was actually, it was actually plus one. And so it gets minused because of the threat level. Hee hee ha ha. I mean, I guess we'll just do this. I don't, we rolled a six. Very funny. I love rolling a six. I mean, it's gazoo time. I, I do always pick gazoo and then get myself into a run where I need to rest, don't I? Is it fetid fumes? No, it's contaminated water. That kind of sucks. How do we get another ally? <laughs> The illegal den? No way. No way. I mean, it's look who it is. It's look who it is. Two funds! In this economy, what the hell is wrong with you? All right, let's just turn the police station over to the mansion, and we're going to be in hell for a little bit, because it's mansion B2B. It's two mansion mysteries, back to back. Yeah, just, just go ahead and, when it's stamina on the line, go ahead and make every dice roll imaginable. When it's sanity on the line, don't, don't, don't worry about rolling properly. Just, just go to, just go to hell, you know? Halluc oh, me and Hallucination Rutsu, no way. You remember when Paranoia used to secretly take away one of your stats? That was the greatest thing of all time, actually. That was the greatest thing of all time, actually. I'm gonna run away from this fight. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. It's true. I, I don't want to be here. Regain one sanity? Get me the hell out of here, gamer. 70% Doom Mystery 2, huh? It's, uh, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty terrible, actually. Hey, Maria, you got a smunk? No. No. We're trapped in hell. We can't get out. Oh, a doom enemy. No way. All right. Better about to lock in. Come on. Sit up straight. Stay hydrated. Unironically, let's do it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I made it happen. Let's go. Easy. Lock in, chat. I don't know why moving the mouse in this game is so hard. Like, moving the mouse in this game just feels, like, so weird compared to, like, literally every other game. Like, I'm doing crazy shit in League of Legends. Like, I'm tracking my enemy. I'm moving the mouse cursor accurately. Just doesn't feel, uh, very easy to move the mouse cursor in this game. I guess it's because of the after trail. I don't know, I'm just making excuses. I don't know why specifically in this game I fumble the mouse so badly. Uh, sure, let's get, uh... I was gonna say an Aurora Borealis would be kinda neat, but, uh... Maybe we go for a Katana, or do we go for plus one stats? I think stats might be more important, but a Katana would be fun. I mean, a Katana's fun, but stats are, you know, Katana, sure. Probably should have gone for the stats, honestly. But are we? how are we going to make a strength check? I don't know. Alright, we're also taking reason penalty, like, every single time, because... I actually hadn't taken folklore studies already, so that was kind of a bad plus one knowledge. Probably should have put something else in there. Now, it's violent vigil time. I said it from the beginning, that it's, it is vi the violent of the vigil and we're gonna see that's a good start we could use a few more of those we want to follow the vigil steps just so that we um that's a great start really strong start bow clap clap bow 
bow, clap, clap, bow, write it down, gamer. But are we going to be moving lucrative? Perhaps. I mean, it's a 70 per... Hold on. How's our block looking like? I mean, can we do something like this? I would rather do an 80-90. Actually, hold on. Let me... Maybe I should just go for it. Nah, nah, nah. Set yourself up with something like this. Because it works out so well if you hit. And if you don't hit, guess what? You can, you can do a little block. You can do a little attack. Then you can do a little bit of this. And it all works out in the end. Isn't that nice? Sewing kit would go kind of hard. We have to follow this every single time. Non-negotiable. Just gonna have to hope for a little bit of um, me and broken bottle Rutsu. That's fine. I don't. I don't care about the broken bottle. This is pretty big. I guess let's get rid of the the meat cleaver. Mm. Hell yeah! You like to see something like that? Very cool. Love to see something like this. Burn the envelope. We dodge both of the plus, six, plus three doom fights. We're looking pretty clean with that. Now this is a guy who needs to who needs to go yesterday. A bro needs to not be at the function. Um. Okay. Me and abdominal cut Ritsu. I almost want to hit him with the with one of these. So that we can then go into desperation and say, whoa, death be upon ye. And then that works out pretty well. Maybe I should have done that last round. And we're pretty good to just kind of get the bad ending here. Yike. One yike. I almost hit carve the curse symbol. That would have been so bad. No way. I'll save myself. Blood moon. That's... Yeah, it would get me on edge, too. Maybe we'll just... Sneak around. We have to be careful not to make a sound. Metamorphosis, we could definitely use the monument a little bit more. But we could also... I don't know. Kind of bad, honestly. Like, we go school scissors. We're kind of screwed. But also the... School's doomed, so, like, we absolutely want to do this so that we can change the, uh, whatchamacallit over. The problem is, especially after that, we kind of lose the game. Like, the fact that we just got Jar of Blood basically means it's, it's Jover chat. Um... I mean, this is potentially really strong, but we gotta take the healing when we can. It's a low threat level location. We need to move the thing over to the school, but we, we also need to kind of get, like... I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright, you... The, the thing is, we got a boss fight to do right after this, so it's, like, it's not looking too good. And so... Yeah, no, it's not looking too good. I don't think there's a way that we can kill the boss. Uh, it's not looking too good, chat. It had to be Medusa. Had to be an MBM. You hate to see it. Now, oh, the dog. She She's awakened. She's activated. Me when we're about to cut to an Emmerdale in five seconds. No. No. Um, what do I want to do? You're going to hate me for this, but this is the way. Because the thing is, we need to reserve that. We can't run. We need to reserve this stamina for the boss fight. And we need to... We, need, we, we can't take Doom. We can't take stamina. We can't throw our weapons. So, because of that, we're dodging. 
And if we get hit, we get hit. There's not really much that I can do about that because, I mean, that's that's just it. You know, it is what it is. So now we have to... Because we, we can get out of this, right? Like, maybe we can't. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, we can, but I don't really want to. Desperation. Uh... Uh, 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 yeah, sorry, it's, uh, it's kind of Jover. Yeah, yeah, real, 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 real. We'll hit, we'll hit, we'll hit. I mean, I'm just trolling at this point, right? Right? I'm just trolling at this point. Yeah, I'm just trolling at this point. <laughs> Uh, it's Jover. There's there's no getting out of this one, Chief. There really is not. Oh, I'm I'm dumb, by the way. That is the worst order you could possibly do that in. Let's go to the History Club and get, like, something that will win us the game, huh? Uh, you know. Wait, I took the schoolyard. I'm stupid. Am I really this dumb? We've had the schoolyard the whole time. I am dumb. I can't believe that. Does that really change the game at all? Not really. Really? I mean, yes, it actually changes the game completely, and we probably win. But let's not uh, let's not think about what could have been. Because I thought that I took it away from the schoolyard and put it on like school nurse or something. What what year do I think this is? What patch do I think this is? Oh my god! Bro is thinking that he's playing a patch from like two and a half years ago. Oh, sorry. Suddenly, somewhere, Emmerdale seems to have disappeared. We'll go back to it as soon as we can, once we've found it. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta explain what happened. So I was opening the web page to, to load up Pokidoku, right? And... <laughs> and... I... Okay. I I didn't open YouTube. YouTube was on another tab, but it started playing. And this is true, a YouTube short that I didn't have open. So it, it, the tab wasn't open. I wasn't on YouTube, but the YouTube tab started playing a YouTube short. So we we kind of love that. Uh let's 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 do this. Let's do this. All right, Gallade, we're going to we're going to heavily rely on Gardevoir here for a moment. Gardevoir. Because I remember my Gardevoir had uh, Shadow Ball. I've told this story before. I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think this is a fighting type, and I think it can use Earthquake. I'm just so good at video games. I'm, I'm the Pokemon Master. Can learn Earthquake can learn Shadow Ball. This is hard. Uh, is there a Steelix Mega Evolve? Yes, there is. You can definitely use Earthquake, sir. Thank you. Uh, there's like an evil-looking bird, right? Yeah, this thing looks evil. It can use Shadow Ball. Uh, more realistically speaking, maybe it would be something like a Flygon? Or can Charizard learn Shadow Ball? Flying Mega Evolve. There's like a... Pidgeot Mega. Uh, Flying Fight? Huh? What on earth? It's gotta be a Tapu, right? Like, it's gotta be a Tapu. That One of these things throws hands. What on earth would a flying... Hold on. A uh, bird. What would be... A bird fighting type. There's got to be like a like a macho bird, right? Like a macho bird that wants to punch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's a macho bird that wants to punch you. That's true. That's real. Definitely. Definitely. I'm not on. I'm not on copium. I'm not on copium. Can learn Shadow Ball. Can learn Earthquake. I don't know why I want to say, like, Gengar. Like, I feel like Gengar could learn Earthquake. I don't know why. Um, 
maybe Spirit Tomb? Maybe Spirit Tomb can... Actually, you know what? What about Garatina? I feel like Garatina could do it. Yeah, you know what? I feel like Garatina could do it. Goddamn right, Garatina could do it. I don't know what Garatina Altered is. That's just like normal Garatina to me. I don't know if specifically this Garatina can do it. Um, Fighting Flying. That's kind of punch. Punch, punch. Halu there we go. That's it. That Tell me Halucha is not a flying fighting type. Can learn Shadow Ball flying type. Uh, I feel like Charizard could learn Shadow Ball. I don't know why. But I think I can just go Drifblim, right? Drifblim can definitely learn Shadow Ball. We got a 9x! Look at that! I, you know, I didn't have the window capture open this whole time, but I was correct. Look at that! Oh, Zapdos Galar is also... I remember that is a fighting type. I um I do kind of wish that I had it open so you could watch me do it, but like I I feel like I was cooking. I remember Terra Terra Kion is a fighting type from like something. I think I watched like a competitive Pokemon video about this thing, and I remember Earthquake being a a thing of discussion. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, also, there's something called Annihilate. That's pretty terrifying. And then. Also, Mewtwo Mega X. There's... Let's see what there was. There was Halucha, Flamigo, and Zapdos Galar. Halucha was the most common one. Probably could have gone Zapdos Galar. That makes sense. Golurk. Oh, Gallade Mega. Mega Evolve can learn Earthquake. That's kind of That's kind of crazy. A stuffle? A stuffle? Wait, can learn Earthquake. Fighting type. Machamp can just do that? Hariyama can do that? Lucario can do that? Heracross can do that? But Buzzwall can do that? I guess they can all just... You know what? I guess every fighting type in existence can learn Earthquake, so you know what? Fair enough. The fact that Mankey can learn Earthquake is actually kind of insane. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.